Hey guys, in this video you will learn how to install Java on your Windows and also we'll talk about how to set um, Java Home and also we'll uh, talk about a uh, few differences between JDK, JRE and JVM. Uh, these are very confusing for a beginner. So let's get started. Uh, go to your Windows Start menu and let's just type in uh, CMD uh, which will open the command prompt and let's check if we have a Java installed and it's not and let's go to um, your favorite browser just type in uh, java ac download and you will be able to see um, this first uh, link which is directly from the oracle.com and oracle has acquired java so all the java software will be available under oracle.com and as soon as you open the website you will see uh, the latest uh, version of java is uh, 14 and this is the latest uh, standard edition available um, and if you scroll down further you will see Java IC 11 uh, which is a lifetime support and if you scroll down further you will see Java IC standard 8 uh, this is the um, most preferred Java version for most of the application in IT um, so you will have to carefully choose uh, these versions uh, when you install Java on your um, uh, computer and of course you can have multiple versions of Java um, but you will have um, some difficulties related to uh, accessing particular Java um, environment variables. Okay, so uh, the application which I'll be using it is very much compatible with uh, 8, uh, but not with any uh, the newer application. So I'll go ahead and install uh, Java 8 here, and this is the download uh, page, and this section will show you uh, all the available uh, operating systems. So in this, uh, go ahead and um, download the Windows X64. All you have to do is um, uh, just review the Oracle uh, Technology Network license agreement and then go ahead and click on download. So this will take you to uh, the login screen. Uh, this is basically the oracle.com account. If you don't have one, go ahead and um, create one account, a new account. Or if you have um, uh, an account already, you may want to go ahead and um, you know use that and the sign in is now successful now you can see uh, the file is getting downloaded here once the file is completely downloaded uh, go ahead and click on uh, run the uh, java standard edition uh, development toolkit uh, wizard the installation wizard so this will uh, explain you like uh, all the different options available just go ahead and click on next all right uh, just go with the standard uh, selections here and it's going to take the program files which is a 64-bit directory by default this is going to copy all the new files uh, on that particular folder and once uh, this um, installation is over it will give you this um, pop-up just click on next a lot of people have um, installed Java the inappropriate version and also they set uh, the environment variable with the wrong path so they will have um, a lot of um, problems would be faced uh, with uh, setting those in environment variables all right now the Java is completely installed see it's successfully installed and all you do is just close now let's go to our start menu and then just type in uh, environment you just type in env and it will pop up for the edit system environment with a section called environment variable all you'll have to do is come under this system variables click on new then just type in java home and you will also see the installation directory if you go to uh, c drive program files java and this is the jdk and also it is very uh, confusing for a beginner uh, to see which which particular folder i should be using for my java home uh, variable 
right as soon as you say home uh, just just remember uh, all you have to do is copy this home path not the bin path right so let's come back to the environment variables which uh, we set the java home with this path and then click ok and uh, if you notice uh, we have added to the system variable this means any users working on this pc will be able to use java right if you add um, to user variable this installation of java will be available for the user that is logged in for me uh, i have uh, chosen system just click on ok and then click on ok right now the java is installed on the computer let's go ahead and check uh, if it is properly installed and we're able to see uh, the environment variables and uh, java version etc so for that uh, just go ahead and open up the um, command prompt from the start menu all you have to type in is uh, java space dash version so now we can see uh, the java version 1.8.0 uh, is installed and the sub version is 261 and you can also do a, another test uh, to see if our uh, environment variable is properly installed so for that all you do is uh, type in echo and then you type in java underscore, java underscore home percentage and this is giving us uh, the program file java and jdk uh, 1.8.0 so this is this is where our uh, java development case, uh, kit is installed and at the same folder you will also have uh, the java runtime uh, installed as well now i'll show you the folder for jre so this is where uh, java J jdk uh, 1.8 and then the jre 1.8 if you look at it, uh, inside you will have a bin folder and you will have all the supporting runtime um, libraries and everything uh, installed here in this folder. So now that we have uh, understood um, how do we install Java, how do we set uh, Java home, let's quickly understand uh, what JDK, JRE and uh, JVM is all about because these terms are very confusing for any new beginner. So in order to understand that, um, uh, let's 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 understand so J JDK is nothing but Java development kit so it consists of all the development tools such as Java Java compiler Java C is basically Java compiler and Java debugger and many other you know, development tools so JDK works directly with uh, JRE and JRE provides a Java runtime uh, environment and JVM is Java virtual machine which is inside the Java runtime um, and what happens is um, as soon as you are done with um, writing Java uh, program you use the development tools to compile it and then do debug and unit test it after that is done um, after that is done when you execute it Java runtime provides uh, the JVM uh, which also consists of libraries and actual execution of the Java program happens in this JVM unit and these concepts are very much important uh, in, in, in uh, um, any any execution and understanding of uh, the applications depending on Java.